All right, you crazy jellyfish, here we are. Here we are. So I managed to get Nopix up and running. Now I had to use uh, version 7.2.0, which conveniently fits on a CD. That's very nice. I did try uh, four, uh, 741 and 761, I think it was, or 742 and 761. They didn't work for some reason. Something's changed and just doesn't like loading on this particular hardware. So, using the older disc, we're now at a command prompt. Now, what am I going to do with the command prompt? Now, I am going to use DD. By doing a list of blocks, <laughs> we can have a look there and see what's currently connected to the computer. So we've got SDA, 300 gig, that's the external USB drive I've got there. And then we've got, uh, it's going to turn off. There we go. Manual focus for the win. So SDA is the drive sitting connected, waiting for the data or the image to be copied over. Uh, SDA1 is the EFI or MBR, whatever it is. And SDA2 is the main partition. SDB is where it gets interesting. That is the SCSI drive, weighing in at 4.2 gigabytes. Now we've also got uh, the one partition, SDB1, which is the fat partition from what I understand, weighing in at two gigabytes. So there's about 2.2 gigabytes not there. I don't know if that's a standard setup for these, but it may not be. So what we're going to do is get our hack on. One second. Okay, so we're back and let's have a look. So we're running a program called DD Rescue, uh, which what that does is, is it's, it's much like DD, hence the first two Ds at the beginning. The rescue part lets you retry for bad sectors or bad blocks. So that's going to be very useful on a failing hard drive, which throws up I.O. errors everywhere. Now to run it, um, I'm pretty sure Nopix comes with it, maybe. Rescue, DD Rescue, dash D. Now the D tells it to use direct disk access and ignore the kernel's cache, which is a good thing. Also make sure your drive isn't mounted at this point if you're doing this. The exact same thing I'm doing. I don't know what the chances of that are. It's pretty unlikely. And we want uh, to put in how many times should the drive try to read a bad block? I'm going to put in three. Three seems like a good number. I know that Carbon Copy Cloner for the Mac, uh, I think it's twice that it does it, but you know what, let's go the extra step. It's only a four gigabyte drive, not a massive one terabyte, so uh, I've got the time. Plus, this desk isn't really doing anything. Um, of course, it also might be a bad idea to do the thing three times because it'll break the drive quicker. It's a bit of a catch-22. Honestly, I've got some of the data, so I'm not too fussed. This is more about getting what's not on the drive or the invisible data, deleted data. So then we want to put in uh, where are we going from? Where's, what are we, where are we copying from? So it's uh, slash dev in this case. And it is SDB. And we want to put in a target, so where are we going to put the target? Let's make it a disk image because that keeps things simple. So we'll call it uh, DC. What's the, actually, what's the, what was the game called? Uh, baseball World. World. I'll just call it test.image. So I have no idea what it's called. And now that'll... Where's that going to put it? I should probably... That's not going to work. Where's that going to put it? That's not going to write it to anything. 
So that is the gist of what you need to do. However, I need to mount, if it isn't already mounted actually, How do I get a window open? Get a window. Where's my sidebar? I need a sidebar. Zeroed. Okay, so it's already mounted. That's fine. So it's uh, media slash SDA2. So we'll pop it into there. Of course, I just lost everything I typed. DB rescue dash D dash R3, R ah, for retries I guess, slash dev slash SDB, and then we're going to stick it in media slash S, what's it, SD2, Did I, spell, did I spell media wrong? Oh man. I'm slipping. Must be because it's so late or early in the day. Never know which side I'm on. Okay, and then we probably should give it a name test. I think I just I just press return. Oh no, no, we want a log file. A log file is probably a good idea. So we'll call it uh, test.log. Can't find DD Rescue. Oh, am I doing the wrong DD Rescue? Is this the one with a the hyphen? There's two types, of course. Oh, there we go. Okay, this one's a bit different. <laughs> I love the things that I have to do. I try and think, oh, I've got this down, I'll just record it. And then, nope, nothing ever goes my way. Well, now I need to go and read up on how DD underscore rescue goes. So here I was thinking I'd be using DD Rescue. Ah, <sighs> just for reference, at the time of this video, DD Rescue with no underscore was a uh, 1.21, and this one here on the Nopix disk, which is ancient, is a uh, 1.23. So there you go. Kids these days, I'm going to go read into it. Well, it actually is simpler than the other one, from what I've read. All of these programs are better than um, DD itself. Apparently if DD hits bad blocks it sort of starts to cry. Um, we don't want that. So we're using DD underscore rescue. So these tags, let's just do DD underscore rescue. Yep, can't spell, that's fine. So I can't see the font on the screen, it's bloody small. Start position, block size, fall back, exit maximum data, blah, 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 blah. No, that's not, that's not too exciting. Size is <laughs> Scrounge sort of rescue data in the case of IO errors because it does not necessarily abort or truncate the output. Well, that's good. Let's um, let's definitely do that. So we're still going from SDB to an image file and there's no log though. That's all right. If I could, I'd use DD Rescue, DD Rescue without the um underscore. But beggars cannot be choosers. Oh, are you serious? Typos everywhere today. Very dangerous when we're using a DD-like program. <laughs> Read-only file system. What the heck is it formatted as? Well, I'm going to have to reformat it, obviously. <sighs> we'll be back. And then it dawned on me that I would need a file system that can support files larger than 4 gigabytes. 
because I don't really, I mean, I guess I could use compression, but I'm not going to. So what I'm doing now is I'm formatting the external drive by the command line as a uh, good old Linux format uh, three. The third one. The fourth one's too edgy. The second one's a bit old. But three, it, it just seems right. And I know nothing about Linux file systems, so it's not much use. At the moment, it's doing something that has a counter, so that's pretty exciting. But once this is done, I will then be able to zap it all on, take it over to my other computer and try and work out how the heck to get it off probably need something by Paragon. I mean, in theory, I could just install... I could install uh, Linux in a virtual machine. It's so hard for me not to say Linux. Linux, Linux, Linux this. Mm. GIF. That's another one. Everyone loves GIF. Oh, what is this doing? So list block lsblk is quite a useful command to have. I will, I will try to remember that one. I wonder if it works on OS X. All right, we're nearly at the end now, maybe. What do those numbers say? I can't zoom in anymore. Oh, it's about to tick over to the two. I have a feeling this is going to be a long video. Oh, this is going to be the longest video ever. Oh, well. Screw it, I don't care. And we are done. Oh, it's creating a journal. That's good. I guess this file system is journal. That's, that's a good thing. Super blocks. File system accounting information. Wow. Is there anything this can't do? <laughs> so I'll run through, give it a... A good dump, hopefully. And then we'll stick the uh, hard drive into a freezer, see if that makes any difference at all. Oh, there we go, something's finished. Now it's all just a matter of... Mm, blimey. Uh, go back to the top. So we want SDB. So DD underscore rescue. I hate this keyboard, it's not a Model M. You can probably not hear it. Wait, where was it mounting this other one? What's SDA2? I shouldn't have clicked that. Whoa! Those are special effects. So it's media SDA1 still. Okay, so we're going from dev slash SDB to dev slash SDA1 slash test dot image. Yeah, not a directory. Oh, of course. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, that's the noise I wanted to hear. So let's keep a close eye on this. Oh, look at that. She's finding bad blocks for me.
All the fun seems to be at the beginning of the drive. So I wonder how long this is going to go for. Huh. It's all done. It's cool, now it's just making normal old hard drive that's failing noises. Seven hours, six hours. Come on, go down. Drop rapidly. Oh, it's going like a mega second, that's not too bad. Sorry, 500k a second. Well, it looks like it's finished. I actually went to sleep. It is now evening. <laughs> uh, so we've got uh, the 444444462.0. Four, 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 so it looks okay. So let's have a look in the um, media. Uh, what's in here? Looking for the old uh, SD. Oh, SDA one. There you go, test dot image. LA. Yeah, 4.5 gigabytes. Beautiful. Okay, well, let's get it over to the PC and do some magic. It's unfortunate, though, that it doesn't actually tell me what the failures were. There is a log option, but I didn't do it. Silly me. Oh, well. Thanks, Nopix.